everyone. <laughs> oh, very, very cool, very. Oh my god, Pini go shout, shout, shout. My voice don't go. But this matter, the correct or very, very cool, very matter. Hey, hey. In short, this one, eh? I just opened my phone. The, the, the news is just dropping. Less than zero, it was saying zero seconds. So as it was just dropping and I was just seeing it. Labour Party asked EFCC to probe Peter B. Aisha Yesufu, Afeni Fere, over alleged misappropriation of campaign for Hey, 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 hey. Uh, my people know be smart, you know. You guys remember Aisha came out to reply about it last time after the uh, they had meeting and they declared that they were not part of the campaign expenses and everything that was done during the 2023 election with Peter Obi. And uh, um, Aisha Yusuf came out to you know analyze the whole thing, you know, to indict them. Let us know that Aburi and the other committee they were part of the organizing and they had some money with them and some other things and all of that. You know, the Labour Party has been having some issues and all that. Anyway, I will not say much. Let me allow you guys to watch this video first and hear what Aisha said again. Omo, a bit more with the Let's watch this video. It is the people that are my bosses, they come to my warehouse, they buy. I don't need to do this thing for anybody. So they are bullied. They, they had a meeting yesterday to sit there and say that. Let me, let me even go. Let me go and read. Because it too, I'm just opening it now. I said, let me come. He said, Labour Party's National Publicity Secretary, Abayomi Arabambi, that one has been running his mouth all over, you know, in my business. Some very inconsequential persons that when you see them, me, I like fighting people that like, I always tell people, I say, I fight people that when they see, they will say, they, they won't need to ask, who are you fighting? They, they know the person already. Not the one that you are fighting the person, they are trying to fight who the person even be. But anyway, Arabambi has been running his mouth. I've seen him many times on airtime, talking about me or whatever. Guy, calm down. You understand? If you say you know normal, I will tell you say everybody get back for psychiatric hospital. I say what occupy your omni go send you there. May you go say they are okay your EFCC at any time. They let them feel free anytime they want to invite you. Let them invite me. I will go. They have never been to the office. I would love to go and be. Oh no, I've been to the office when somebody was arrested and I had yes, yes, I've been to the office. I had to go to do something. And I have also been the office when we did some uh, advocacy. Yeah, yes, we do advocacy. They have never been to the office and seen me. I said they say I do something. Me, I go. So anytime any day, please, I am free. They can even write a petition. Why are they? I hope they wrote a petition. It's not that they just uh, they just send this thing out. He says the National Working Committee NWC of the Labour Party led by Julius Abure. Let me boost up here, sir. Led by which which Julius Abure. They are doing an election in a do state. Abure never see enter. This National Working Committee, are you not supposed to be in a do state? You have a candidate that is running for office. Are you not supposed to be there uh, doing campaign? I'm on, I never see enter. So what part? I don't understand which part. Oh, is it in Abuja that you guys are doing your party, your party, whatever alone? But let me come back to the main, the main story. And it says, uh, has called on AI Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, and the National Security Advisor. <laughs> National Security Advisor, whenever do the work, where is obviously legitimate government, whenever do the work, where is supposed to do, that is to go after terrorism. That I can't even talk. Excuse me? What has national... Uh, oh, no, no, no. No, who bad you? Now you do this one. Now you do yourself. Ah! I cannot be you really bad. You have reduced yourself. So the, the parties they call you say when you call about campaign funding. I am angry on your behalf. Honestly. Ah, you will bad. Me the me the best on your behalf. Say they look at you that you are so jobless. That they are not calling you. Labour Party is calling you. That you should come and come and start uh, looking at campaign funding. But anyway, Sha, if you truly know Gajor, me they you, you know you have my number now, you know my address, you know my house, you know my everything. Don't waste government money, just say. I, I, we, are, we are inviting you to come. DSS or police or EFCCA. We they go there. Uh -uh. Now, first of all, do something. I didn't fear. Me not do anything. So, anytime, anywhere. Now, my papa land now. Nigeria, where we take us, my papa land. I didn't work out for anywhere. So, he said that at the, to investigate the parties, uh, 2023 presidential candidate, Peter B. Activist. I'm not an activist. I am an active Nigerian citizen. No shaky. 100% Nigeria. We die here in our country with this. Uh, so, it's the, the activist, Aisha Yusufu. Pastor Itua Igodalo and leaders, I they tell us we are three, we are three signatures. So one or two they, they call. I mean they don't say they know the other say we be three. And leaders of the Pan Yoruba group are Feni Fere for the alleged misappropriation of campaign funds. At a press briefing or a briefing on Wednesday in Abia Kuta, 
the LP's National Public City Secretary, Abayomi Arambabi, raised concerns over the di uh, diversion of over 12 billion and 15 uh, million dollars in donations meant for the Labour Party's 2023 presidential campaign. And please, uh, me, I, I think Arambabi has mentioned this to me. If I say, hey, come and show us where this money is. I say, come and show us where this money is true to. Let's go and recover it. Because we have elections to run. There are lots of elections that we want to run. As say, let, let them come. Let's recover it. Let them tell us where this money is. Uh, uh, the party's leadership accused Aisha Yusuf and Pastor Igodalo for working alongside Peter B to siphon campaign donations. <laughs> Labour Party. You people look like anything that any, is it, uh, except if it is poor poverty that somebody wants to siphon from you. Are light and light. Even up tonight, if you look at the meeting they are doing, you can see the place. God forgive me. I'm not, I'm not begging. I'm dying for my fight. Too. So, you know, say, them are going here. Other than poverty, what did they smell there? Now, the other part where you see, say, the new. This is where they do what, they, what, what is it called myself, uh, interim leadership. Now they, they see people they say something deal. This is other than desperation, I don't see. So it, except if it is poverty that I want to siphon for Labour Party, what is a Labour Party? Where, 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 where do you people gather crowds? When you say when they go, I go stand. And your whole end of BDC, your whole this thing, only me go stand. Nobody go even know say when I get there. Now they say they, now they, they divert money. Which money you not get? Very anyway, Risha. The guy, you know, the guy, the guy want to join the clique of people where they, where they mention dollars, you know, 15 million dollars. Those 15 million dollars, they will buy less than 20 bags for me. You know that? If I want to buy me one correct ring, it's just, you know, that 15 million dollars not going to even reach. Don't they say, no, if you reach, say, make I buy. If I want to buy private jets, you know, go reach you. That 15 million dollars will be like big money for your act. It won't be anything, you know. So it is saying that because of those things, now more, I shall I go sell this in my mouth where I love like this, where it's big like this, where like they use. I go sell them, say for trade because of Labour Party, this thing. Oh, oh. Arab and B. Oh, oh, poor guy. You know, you know, you know, you know, how it is to be in the big league. But they didn't shake her, if they call this thing. I know, Sifu, nobody go want Sifu poverty for now, but you know, I keep on this thing. Coming back, um, uh, so he said, the party's leadership accused Aisha Yusufu and Pastor Igodalo of working alongside Peter Obi to siphon campaign, campaign donations. Arab Abid described Obi as a political merchant orchestrating the fraudulent mismanagement of funds. He also criticized Yusufu's re recent remarks defending herself, dismissing them as attempts to obs obscure the truth. I want to defend myself, oh. I was this that I said in that video. I've already said them a long time ago. They are everything is already in public knowledge. Defend myself from who? From Labour Party. All of you people from WC, uh, the NWC to Julius Abre. To who are, who are, I'm trying to find who, who, who is in, in the Labour Party that I need to defend myself to. I came out to set the record straight and to say that you people, you, you lie without knowing that evidence are there, without knowing that this is not 1980 when you used to do your whatever it is you do, you know, uh, labor, you know, or whatever it is that you guys do. That's not where we are. So I don't need to defend myself. You, you get Arab and Hey, hey. You said they siphon money. I mean, a poverty where they smell for their place where they're not getting one And the, um, the, the allegations extended to leaders of Afenifere, including Paayo, Ade Banjo, Aki Oshutoku, and Shola Ebisemi, whom Arabambi accused of retaining over 600 million Naira in private accounts. Please feel free to name this private account. You can also get investigative journalists to come out and, you know, put all of these things. I've not shaken no wala. We did here. Me, they wait for EFCC. I do what we pay me back. Anyway, this one is legitimate company. Ah, no worry about that. I can't believe Ay, that no worry about that. That used to be EFCC chairman. That when you see him, that used to talk. Nigeria will shake us. Don't know what they are calling. As an essay. Oh, okay. Nah. Now we don't look for positions, so they, we forget our dignity, our values, our integrity, and everything. Because I can't imagine they are calling NSC because of that campaign for Arab and B. Anyway, sir. No debate, do now you do yourself. Uh -huh. it, the funds he claimed were meant for Labour Labour Party's campaign, but were di divided under obese direction. The same Labour Party that said even one couple, even the money they collected, the one one thousand then uh, one thousand naira challenge did money that citizens donated. They've not brought out for uh, this thing. They've not brought out any statement of account. Yet they are talking that uh, they they have diverted this thing. They say they didn't put any down. All the money that they, that people used to buy from or whatever, they've not talked about it. But anyway, sir, I don't get. Me no shall get time. I'm not a Labour Party member. So I don't you whatever you people do in your party is your business. But my campaign for peace, feel free. We have by the way, we have I saw some people talking, oh is it that uh, that uh, what was it that summary of account? Is that how to do account? No. We actually have an agree account. I think it's a fifteen page account. Yeah, we do have and it's there. 
uh -huh. the, the Labour Party is urging the EFCC to act swiftly. Please, EFCC, please, swiftly. And investigate the individual's name in what is, is described as a betrayer of the party's core principle. By the way, I know most of these Labour Party, Arab and Aburi and Co, they don't know what process is. I hope you people have written a petition to uh, EFCC. You can't just tell them to ask swiftly, because please hurry up, write the petition to them. We're waiting for the invitation. And thank God, myself, I'm not traveling anytime soon. I think I'm still here for a few more weeks or a month plus. I'm not traveling, and so I didn't have to ask that question. But even if I'm out of the country, all you need to do is say, Aisha, we want to hear, but we don't, we, we don't land. So uh, it, we wanted to say that uh, <clears throat> Arab Bambi said the, the, the trial of uh, I, uh, Ade Banjo, uh, Aki Oshutoku and Sh Shola Ebisemi were involved in financial infractions totally over 600 million naira, which they have kept in their private account and affected the ferry accounts. Well, they said this before now. Sarah reporter, so always like repeating the same word. Uh, Peter B allegedly hired. No, 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 please. There's no, there's no hire. Nobody hires Aisha Yusufu. I've never worked for anyone. We never work for anyone by the grace of God. If I do anything, maybe I, I'm elected office or I decide to but not hire again. I'd be like, when they look for, for this thing, uh, salary, no, you can't hire a shop. But I we work for Nigeria. I work anywhere that work has to be done. Yeah, I'll be there working. So they, so they move that word higher. They say hired Aisha is super pass to our and this fraction of a ferry to commit looting. Why do we are still today? I think they, they, they do your homework very well. And to commit looting, criminal conspiracy, and diversion of funds from the Labour Party's presidential campaign while presenting themselves as elder statesmen. Yeah, I don't entire that statesman. I'm a stateswoman. I'm not a state man. Don't call me man. I'm a state woman. To be there, sir. If you are big, you are big. Even when you know big, they will make you big. Because they know that they are fatter. We don't go with pass. Life is past levels. You know, they do talk. Oh. You know, they look for trouble. But anybody waiting for our trouble, yeah, man. They welcome our like, long lost friend. Okay, he said party is committed to transparency and accountability and called for an investigation into all bank accounts associated with the alleged misconduct. He called for a thorough investigation into the accounts linked to Ade Banjo, Oshutoku, and Ebi Semi to ascertain the extent of Afeni Ferris' involvement in the alleged fraud. No problem. Remember when we did our, just to, for people who are watching, remember when we did our, what is it called now? Um, our, our, our campaign, our, our campaign uh, account submission to the public, there was a statement that Mr. Peter Obi had made that he was going, he was urging, uh, urging the party to get, you know, uh, uh, accounting bodies, accounting firm, reputable international accounting firm, to audit the books. He was ready, of course. And one, and one of the things, that's, what, that's why when some people don't understand what constitution is all about, in the constitution of the Labour Party, Peter Obi himself cannot ask for that to be done. It's a party that has to call for that. And he asked it to call. He was ready to foot the bill for, there to, for the books to be checked. So please feel free at any time, like as we said when we did our public submission, our doors are open, the books are there. You want to have everything, the accounts, the statements, they are all there. We are ready to have them. We want them to publicly be scrutinized and for everybody to check. And also for investigative journalists, please do your work for anyone, whatever it is. Ah, but you know the one we still pay me for the whole of this thing is the fact that citizens are being killed. There's so much insecurity in Nigeria. But they know that the National Security Advisor, Nuku Riba, is so jobless that they can actually call him to come and be looking at campaign. Ah, ah. Okay, you do yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Well, when I don't hear the whole matter as it been, as it be like this, me, I don't get anything much to say. I just hope that the Labour Party should be able to fix their differences because it's becoming too much. It don't the plenty past APC matter. I mean, it's becoming so, so.